very excited to finally be able to talk to this incredible human being because he's been playing the piano all morning in between sound checking and it's been absolutely magical. Zoe Molalekwa is here, not in South Africa all the time, so I feel quite privileged to have you here, my brother. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having me. Um, thank you for serenading me the whole morning, man, or to, to, for, for adding a, a, a magical soundtrack. I absolutely love that feeling of stepping into the studio and being pulled into your space. Um, but I need to find out from you, where are you based right now? Because I understand you're studying in New York. Yes, that's correct. So what does that look like when you take your art form and you plug it into a system that is that advanced, where everyone in the school is as amazing as you, all due respect? Sure. What was that like, entering into that kind of space? I mean, at first, it was very much overwhelming. I think, you know, it's probably every musician's dream to see themselves in New York at some point, especially as a jazz musician. Yeah. Because that's the mecca of jazz, you know. That's where the best of the best of our role models are based. That's where you find the best of the best of my peers. And so it's a wonderful, challenging environment that I think brings out the best in one. Uh, yeah, it's the kind of pressure that you, you're going to need to thrive in because when you enter into the industry, you're going to rely on the strategic network that you build within your peers there as well. Sure. How tough is it, though? Like, what are the demands placed on you when you're dealing, when your lecturer's a genius, when your, 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 your classmates are all geniuses? How does that feel when you've got to take creativity and channel it into something like that? I mean, I think, honestly, it's, it's not too much of a challenge because it's, it's just really good, hey? so much yeah. inspiration, honestly. I mean, our mentors are musicians that have been on the scene for almost 40 years, some of them, wow. with so much experience. So, you know, learning from someone like that who's going on tour for a week in Europe, coming back, teaching class, and then going, recording, it's, it's kind of giving us a glimpse into the possibilities of what we can achieve too. You can see it. And, and that kind of representation in an art form like jazz, which is quite boutique and it's quite nuanced, there is so much to learn. What's the key? Because it feels like jazz musicians are mad scientists to me. It, it feels like you guys can go any direction at any point in a song, but there has to be such a grounding in knowledge. Sure. What's the key to being a successful jazz musician, do you think? I think definitely one has to have a very, very strong passion. Drive, yeah. You need, to, you need to work <laughs> extremely hard. And obviously there's the intricate details of learning musical theory and all these tools, having a technical facility on the instrument, all of these things that at the end of the day is what you see on stage when an artist is performing and you don't really think about it because it seems so natural. Yeah, you've got to earn that right to be free. Sure. <laughs> you really got to do it. That being said, what are you going to open our account with today? What are you going to perform? So I'm going to open up this performance with a composition of mine entitled Blues for the Young, an ode to Eskiam Pathele. And it was inspired by the writings of the late great uh, literary genius Eskiam Pathele. Absolutely beautiful. Buddy, you've already brought the energy that we need this morning, so you don't really have to do anything else. Just take us on a little journey. Ladies and gentlemen, Zoe Molalekwa on your Feel Good Breakfast Show. Take it away.